Hey, this is Liz with Edible Effects, and today I'm going to show you how to make tuna tartare. But guess what? There's no tuna. So I'm asked by prop masters and people on set all the time to do high-end dishes. A high-end dish that's a classic, never goes bad, is your tuna tartare. I love doing the look on camera, but I'm never going to actually use tuna tartare unless it's a hero plate and the actor is eating it on camera. I don't do this because tuna tartare is A, expensive, B, it goes it goes bad fast and it stinks. The secret to this dish and creating the tuna tartare is guava paste. My father-in-law was visiting. He was actually eating guava paste and commented. And I came over to look at it. And when I looked at it and took a sliver of it, I was like, oh my God, it, it looks like sushi. And from thinking of doing like a sushi over rice, I said, oh my God, I could do tuna tartare. And then that's when I started doing tuna tartare. I chop up my guava paste. You can do different sizes or whatever because tuna tartare isn't one size. It's a bunch of different sizes. I use sesame seeds and sesame oil to create this one. And then I have avocado and I mix in really ripe avocado with raw avocado and I mix it with some lemon juice. The lemon juice preserves it. It keeps it green. It won't start to darken. And that's what you want to prevent with avocado is the oxidation creates brown. Tuna tartare is not a perfect shape. They're all different shapes. So you can play around. I mash it in there because I'm working with a product that's a little bit harder than tuna tartare. So therefore I need it to form to the mold. All right, so now that it's nice and packed, I'm gonna move over to my avocado. If they're not packed together, when you unmold it, it'll fall apart. So you need them to be packed together. So as you start to pick it up, you'll feel it. You'll feel it start to pull away. What you wanna do is drag your spoon to make sure what's on top slides out as you pull on it. To finish it off, I'll throw in some sesame seeds right on top. I'm gonna do a little swirl of something. So I've done something like this and you know, with a garnish, so I'm gonna, I think these are really, really pretty. Since I have a lot of playing room with this not being eaten, it could be in the background. These flowers that I used, typically wouldn't use them on a dish because the flowers aren't edible. This is another option for a tuna tartare that's not tuna tartare. Now you have your guava paste, your avocado, and with a lemon slice. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Liz with Edible Effects. Come on back. I'm Elizabeth with Edible Effects, and hey, if you like the content and you want to see more, come on, like and subscribe. That's how I'm going to eat.